So I pray that the, the culture vessels you are seeing over there have been installed and uh, we tested them. They're working so well. There you see we have a flow meter. We normally uh, gauge the amount of water we send to either our culture vessels or pre-fermentation section and uh, fermentation. And uh, after we, we do our culturing, uh, we've gotten our slant from the laboratory, inoculated it into our CV1, culture vessel 2, then CV3. And then after, after the 18 to 24 hours, we send it to, uh, to the pre-fermentation section. Then from the pre-fermentation section, uh, after it is ready, we send it to our fermentation section. And uh, all, why we do this is because we have a, our live bacteria, the slant, our live slant, which we, we do grow starting from the laboratory through, through the incubation system, uh, then uh, autoclaved, and uh, the whole purpose of this is to do away with dry yeast. And current right now, I'm working on the starch plant, which is going to use both maize and cassava. And uh, you can see the percentage we are at. I think the next time we shall be at the commissioning stage, uh, because there is a scarcity of raw material that is molas. So the company is going to deal with uh, maize and cassava for the conversion of starch into uh, sugars, that is glucose. And uh, from that, we ferment it so that we produce, uh, we produce ethanol. And the good thing with uh, starch uh, grain or starch cassava or maize, it produces uh, good quality spirit which has less impurities. Say the high boilers, mostly, uh, the ketones, acetaldehydes, uh, mostly fusel oils, they are less in uh, starch plant. Thank you.